Jay, they're here. Oh. They're hey, here. Hey. Everybody's here. Hey, folks. Sorry. We were away for a second. Ooh. It's like an earthquake. Jay was uh, getting into his Sunday best. Yeah, sorry about that. His salt life. Yeah. Where is salt life. For those of you that don't know us. That was, that was product placement right product there. Placement. <laughs> we didn't even get paid for that. I know. That was messed up. Salt life and Starbucks. Yeah. Look. North Carolina. Starbucks. There you go. Woohoo, North Carolina. Woo! All right. So, uh... I am Bobby McFadden with RLA Advisors. Got and I'm good Jay Simsick. Woo! Jay Simsick. I'm a woo girl. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got a new question today. Um, touchy subject, but we're going to cover it anyway. Mm -hmm. So you ask, we respond. The question of the day is, what should I do if my significant other is cheating on me? Oh. And you know, I'm going to, before we jump into this, I'm going to... I, I want to be very, very, very careful here. There's no right or wrong answer to any of this. I've known people who have repaired their relationships. I've known people who have dissolved their relationships successfully both ways. But I also know people, and I want to be clear about this before we jump in, who thought they knew, I want to be clear, who thought they knew their spouse was cheating only to find out that they weren't. Like thought they knew, like as in they were right. They, they, were, were, they right. were They knew so much. That they were telling people, she, talking to people. Yeah, she yeah. went on a business trip to Atlanta, and then you know the guys, the guys' workmates are going, yeah. Well, you know she's cheating on you. Yeah. Well, no, you don't know that. All you know is that she told you she went on a business trip to Atlanta. Yeah. He worked late three nights last week. Well, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. might have had a big project to be working on. So be very, very careful before I go into Janine from down the street saw exactly. him with some woman at a restaurant. Yeah, turns out it was his sister. Could have, could have been a workplace. Uh, meeting you know? so really and I mean this very seriously before you you investigate anything like that as far as do I leave do I stay do, do I make damn sure that you are correct in your either your assumption or the knowledge you have so with that I'm going to ask you what, what do you do if you know I mean if you've verified that that's the case well what the first thing is this is just my opinion um, if it's been verified like you've gotten a private eye to like verify and you've got video evidence and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm of the opinion that I still, I would, you know, confront my significant other and say, um, g you know, give that person a chance to speak because what, what we're not, what we're not coming into the knowledge, like we, we get this question, but what we don't know is how has the marriage been over the last however many years or months or whatever's been going on, have there been things leading up to this event? Is the marriage repairable? Um, what are the circumstances? So because take stock. You're saying. Because yeah, absolutely. Because there's a lot of stuff going on that we don't know. Right. And you know, I think inside that box, we have to say, well, at least from my point of view, I would you know confront my spouse not in a confrontational way but in a way that gets to the core of what happened, what's going on. Um, I know for a fact that this is occurring. Here's what I have, and I want to know why you did that. You know, and in my mind, the minute you start accusing, the defenses go up. For sure. Right? So you're not going to get a clear answer. Mm -hmm. That's why I say in a non-confrontational way to keep it calm. So that it doesn't go haywire That's difficult. Is, is a way to handle it. Of That's course difficult. it is. I mean, I'm speaking in a non-emotional way about sure, it sure. because I'm not in that situation. But again, it reverts back to the same thing that we've said over and over again. And Man Code Secrets Revealed went into that deeply. Talk, 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 talk. Yeah. I, would, I would even argue that if you're talking before that, cheating doesn't happen. Probably wouldn't happen. So now that if you're certain that that's happening... Let me just be clear with what you said. Take stock in the relationship. Sure. Evaluate where you are. We can't make that decision. But no. if your choice, and choose powerfully, if your choice is that I don't want to be in that relationship anymore, then take the proper actions. Be, I hate to say it this way, but I don't know another word, professional yeah. about the whole thing. It, it, is, it is not a reflection on you. It's just something that happens. So take stock, evaluate have that conversation and then I say, I say along those lines I say that in any case whether it's you stay in the relationship you get out of the relationship um, no matter which way you go you have to be okay with the, the, the decision the choice that you're making in that moment and everything following through after that because if you make that choice 
powerfully make that choice. And then in your mind, you're thinking the opposite. Uh, you haven't made the choice. You haven't really powerfully made right. that choice, and what's going to happen is it's going to haunt you. And it's right. going to come back, and it's going to eat at you, and you're going to say, I wish I would have done. I wish I would have done. And it's going to cause more tension than anything in that relationship, more than it already has. And it's already fairly destructive. So yeah. in my opinion, you have, to, you have to make that choice and like believe in that choice and stick with it from an actionable standpoint. I've seen so many marriages... That you know they stay together, and both parties don't want to be in the marriage. It's just better. And it, it, it's bad. Yeah. It's just bad. Yeah. So yeah, I guess the the bottom line is is verify everything, and then conversation first, conversation last, conversation always. Absolutely. Right. You All get right. It. So that's it for today. I'm Bobby McFadden, and I'm Jason. We wrapped up a. RLA Advisors. A big topic in like five minutes. That's Leave awesome. us a comment below. Hit the links for our books, and we hope to see you next time. Yeah. See ya. Bye now. Bye.